Hi folks, thanks for joining me again. Um, I'm Stephen Crowley, this is another watercolour demonstration. Um, thanks as always for your support and for all the patrons over at patreon.com slash Stephen Crowley. Do join me over there if you get the opportunity. So I've got another riverbank scene for you today. Um, I had a bit of a struggle with this one, but I hope you can take some value from it. So let me show you the colours I've used. So the palette, if I get it the right way around, for this one I've used ultramarine, lemon yellow, lizard and crimson, raw sienna, and burnt umber, and uh, light red. Uh, brush, just the two brushes, we've got the large Ron Rancid Ake, and the number three rigger. All right, let's start with a bit of raw sienna, a bit of lemon yellow. I want to continue that down to the bottom. corner of the brush into the water just to bring the ears back together. I'm introducing a little bit of ultramarine. Just mixing them together like that. Let's put that in there. And take a bit of crimson as well. Just a little bit of crimson just to warm it up a little bit. See, I'm just preserving this sort of light area down the middle. That like as our light source. Now then, let's pop in a few distant trees. I'm just mixing the blue and yellow together. And I'm going to pop them up there. Put a few reflections down as well. It's good. The horizon's about there, quite high. I want to mark out using a light colour where the banks are going to be. So the banks are actually sort of right up there somewhere. Just mark that with a bit of crimson as well. The light again. I'll just take a bit of raw sienna. Now the banks are coming down to about there. That's coming across there, something like that. The way that the river's shaping up, something like so. There's another bit of and that comes out there. So it was, it was something like that. Now I'm going to pop in a few more trunks. These ones are going to be slightly stronger. Let's put a bit of red in there as well to darken it a little bit. So a few reflections down there as well. A few twigs and things and branches. Right then. I'm back into the bit of raw sienna. Clean the brush, it's all gone a bit muddy. First, I just want to make sure it's flat against this board before I go any further. And I just want to put 
little bit of massive green over there. Just a bit of red and just a dollop of blue. Be a little bit light because it's quite far away. I didn't mean to do that that strong. Then let's just soften that off a little bit because this is quite distant, so I don't want it too strong. I want it to contrast against the stronger tones in the foreground. More yellow and then just push into the blue. left hand side Some more trunks in. So I'm back to the rigger brush. A bit of red, blue, yellow. And this time I want them stronger. These trees. I'm pressing down a little bit stronger now. You see, these are definitely look further forward than the previous ones we put in. Um, actually, that land it's coming across there. Something like that. So. I need these reflections down there like that. Pop another big one in there. and branches and things. To the paint brush, I'm going to some lemon yellow. Let's push this in the base of these tree trunks. marine in there as well. Right, let's work out where these banks are, something like so. I might scrape a few rocks into these. so I have to do them left handed if I if I just do too many to start with then I'll just paint over what I don't like it's 
So we've got the light coming down here, catching the sides. And I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. But for now, um, a few more darks. So we've got sort of dark band going across there like that as well. Few shadows sort of coming across. Now this time there's a couple of trees on that side, but this time I'm going to put them in with a hike. And we're going with something like that. I'm going to twist it like that, twist it and smart one off there. And there we got the reflection. Pop another one in. And stick another one as well this time. I'll pick this one. Squeeze some neat lemon yellow out, straight from the tube. I'm going to clean the brush, squeeze the water out. Need a bit more, I think. Squeeze a bit more with yellow out. We've actually got a little mass yeah, so yeah. This one's got a little bit of loss. Right, what I want to do now is just pull some of the colour from the banks into the water. So quite a dry brush. And just actually just touch more water on it. Let's just soften the edges. Reflecting those trees in there, the impression of a 
with leaves and things reflected in the water. Darks as well. Long stories. Right, I'll just pause it for a second then, just to, I'll just get the, this, the painting just not working for some reason. I might just try and brush a few light yellows in. Just brush a bit of yellow. Maybe another big tree. Just give a bit of red, bit of blue, bit of yellow. Um, we just go. Not too big, quite a narrow one just up there. Maybe another one just cutting across it like that. sure if that's added anything to be honest with you. I might take a bit more yellow. Let's give that a quick dry. this water dry that brush let's put into the blue first and then just take a bit of that and then just 
There's something going on in the floor, right in the foreground there. Lift that up a little bit. What I also want Let's clean the brush again. Just a better impression of shadows I think. I'm just gonna get a red, bit of blue. Something like just a simple shadowy colour. And then I want the shadow to look as if it's sort of coming. So we've got sort of shadows up there. But then it's you know, something going on across there like that. What I might do is turn these into proper flowers that might help a little bit. So if I just take a bit of neat yellow and then just do that. the bigger brush let's make a dark mix and if I just put like a little more dust a little dot in each one make it look like a flower Obviously some are facing the other way so you'll be able to see all of the little sensors. And then just just a few stems. The impression of a few stems in. I think I'm going to leave that now before I completely ruin it. Let's just sign this one in the corner and call this one finished, I think. So let's stick a main on it and see what it looks like. So there's a the finished painting all mounted up. So if we go a closer look. 
got a mixture of greens and, and light reds right in the background. And you can just about see some of the flicks with the with the rigger brush for the most distant tree trunks, just about. And then I think I put that in off camera. I'm just trying to sort of very, very soft impression of the, of the bang, just a little bit darker. And then coming further forward, um, I think I should have had a few more lights. It's got a bit, um, I should have cleaned the brush a bit more basically. It's just got a little bit muddy there on that bank. I think if it was a little bit light, it would have contrasted better with the, with the shadows on this side. I'll put these trunks in nice and dark. A little bit of dry brushing as well with the, with the foliage. And then sort of cast a shadow across there. Um, try to reflect a bit more of the green of the trees into the water below. Remember to put the reflections in at the same time, just see the reflections as well behind this bank of flowers there right in the foreground. Just use a bit of just a dollop of yellow and then a few uh, just a few um, lines of the rig out just suggest the strokes. Could, could, could have done them slightly lighter than that, I think they've put them in too dark. So that's it for this one. I hope you enjoy that. Thanks as always for watching. Remember, try and join me over on patreon.com slash Stephen Crane if you get the chance. There's over another 200 videos over there, plus you can post your own paintings on the community page. So until next time, keep practicing. If you've got any questions, please ask, and I'll see you again soon.